Uh, global warming is certainly uh, the environmental issue of the day. And uh, there are some uh, uh, scientific, um, some scientific results that do back some concern about this. There is no question that carbon dioxide is increasing, and that is because of our need for energy. I mean, there's no question that this is uh, our doing. Because energy is such a uh, wonderful benefit to humankind, we're going to see that em those emissions increase, I think. Um, it has become this huge issue for a number of reasons. One is there's a, a, an issue that uh, a certain group of folks need to have to be viable. The environmental movement by and large exists on donations of charities and people and so on and, and how do they raise awareness of their societies and so on is to create alarm, create danger and then that's the way they can survive and create revenue for themselves through donations. If you're out there and you're not going to solve a dangerous problem, then who's going to give you money to solve the problem? So, the global warming issue is exaggerated in these publications, and I've read them from the Sierra Club and Greenpeace and so on, and they're not science. They are emotional pleas to some very uh, tenuous uh, scientific results, if they are even that. It, and, and once you have an issue, uh, you know, in the local news, they always say, if it bleeds, it leads. Well, if you have an environmental issue that has some catastrophic image to it, uh, an iceberg breaking off, or a drought in a poor farmer, or a child dying of starvation in a drought, they don't mention the fact this has happened forever and ever in the past, but the issue now is saying it is your fault that this is now happening because of human-induced global warming. Well, that creates an image that the media love, and images are what they love, and they promote these notions of catastrophe every night, it seems like, and every day on the web. Uh, that creates alarm among people. Politicians respond to what's on the front page of the newspaper and how the people feel about things. Politicians rarely lead out in uh, an issue. They tend to follow what the uh, constituents uh, are starting to believe. And so they need to craft some way to deal with this issue. I doubt uh, there will be much more than cosmetic things happening on this issue in our country. And I say that for this reason. Energy is absolutely vital to everything we do. And as I lived in Africa for a while, I know that without energy, life is brutal and short. There's no question about that. So because our economy is just inextricably linked to affordable energy, I do not see politicians promoting legislation that will make our energy more expensive. You see, that's a hard political platform to run on in the next election cycle. I mean, can you imagine the politician saying, re-elect me because I made your energy costs go way up. I made it more expensive for you to fill up your gas tank in your car. I made it more expensive for you to heat or cool your home. That's not a very good platform to run on. Though they might say, well, I did this to save the planet, people are more concerned about how much they're paying for their energy. Now, here's the ironic part of that, is that these proposals that politicians are now clamoring to try to do something about won't do anything to affect the climate. This is just a simple fact, and we can demonstrate it with numbers. Here is your bill to do something about the climate or emissions. Let's factor that in to this model, and it turns out there's just imperceptible differences made in the climate. In fact, it even goes further. And, and I know this for, uh, it, to be true because I've talked to people in this position. Companies want to produce products that they can sell. One of the costs of production is energy. If their costs increase, they will have less ability to compete in the marketplace, especially with products made in China or India or so on. So what happens if we make energy more expensive in this country? That manager, that production uh, chief, will just say, it's easier to do this in Mexico. 
it will be cheaper because the energy is cheaper. And here's the ironic part. The plant that will be built in Mexico or somewhere will have less emission controls than it has in this country. And so therefore, by making energy more expensive in this country, you end up with more emissions, not less emissions, because you have sent the, those manufacturing plants offshore.